Welcome to the Tool Review Channel. Today we are taking a look at the Lennox Insulated Screwdriver Set. Now this set comes with, as you can see here, two insulated screwdrivers and is available at your local Lowe's and or Menards. Uh, now the two sizes you get, you get a number two Phillips right here and then you get the almost uh, all pretty much common quarter inch flathead uh, right here. Now like I said, these are the most two common sizes of drivers that I personally use on a daily basis. I'm not saying I use them insulated. I might mainly use them uh, just standard screwdrivers, whether it's working on contactors or disconnects and stuff like that, taking things apart and putting them back together for AC units and or doing a new install. So these are the two most common sizes that you will run into, I would say, in the heating and air field. Um, but it is nice to see that Lennox has an affordable pair of... Uh, insulated uh, screwdrivers. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a look at the number two Phillips right here. And as you can see right here, this is pretty much all encased in uh, plastic or composite material. So that way, if you happen to touch something that is live, um, it, you, it's not going to travel up the screwdriver and shock you. It theoretically should stop uh, right there. Uh, and then you have this nice black oxide coated um, bit right there, end right there, which is nice. Uh, and then you can kind of see some of the warnings and safety ratings that are on the plastic that are part of the plastic rating. Your IEC code 6900 right there. And then you got the thousand volt and the two triangles. And then coming up to the handle right here, you can see you got the Lennox name and the logo right there. And then on the end of the screwdriver, it is labeled, which is nice. I really do like that. So if you have a bunch of Lennox screwdrivers in your bag, uh, you can tell uh, each tool apart, which is nice. Uh, and then coming to the back, you can see you got the Lennox name right there. You have some other safety ratings right there. And then I'm not sure if this is the model number of the tool. And then the year the tool was produced right there, which is 2021. Um, so that is the uh, quarter inch, or excuse me, the number two uh, Phillips. And it has this uh, hard, uh, like rubbery material on the outside. So it is a fairly comfortable grip uh, when you grip onto it. Uh, and probably would work if you're really tightening something down. You wouldn't have to worry about the, you know, that cushion grip uh, from having to switch. And it is does feel kind of comfortable in the hand. So if you were using it a lot, definitely would be a nice feel in the hand. Uh, so we'll go ahead and bring in that uh, quarter inch uh, flathead right here. And as you can see, there is your quarter inch flathead. It has some sort, it's a black, I believe it's a black oxide coating, but it has some speckles in it. I'm not sure if that's, um, you know, some sort of protective coating that is on there or if that's supposed to help with gripping onto the uh, screw that you're trying to take out and or tighten. Um, but as you can see, pretty much the same as the Phillips. Uh, you got the Lennox name right there and then you got the Lennox name in the back and then your model number right there and then the year the tool was produced. Um, and it does say quarter inch on the back uh, as well. Uh, so overall, these are a nice pair of insulated tools um from lennox now the one thing that i have to complain about uh is they put that they're vd tested uh, but when you go to the vd website to look them up um i can't find anything for lennox so i am not sure if lennox uh, just rebrands them from someone else uh, that could be the case um or they make them themselves and they just kind of put that they were vd tested when they're not really vd tested because i like i said you look them up on the vd um, website and I can't find anything um, for Lennox at all that says they have some insulated tools. So that's kind of the one downside about these um, and it kind of makes it hard to recommend them, um, especially if you are looking for a tool that is VD tested uh, and you know it's approved and it's you know a registered tool. Um, it, it just makes it hard to re recommend them because it just because they say it's insulated doesn't mean it's necessarily going to protect you um in case you happen to touch something that's live uh with it so you know there is gonna have to be some caution i would say uh when buying it when buying these uh now they aren't the most expensive thing in the world i believe the set costs like twenty dollars so that's like ten dollars for each screwdriver uh if you add it up um, but you do have to you know um remember that they're not fully vde tested like they say they are now they could be a thousand volt rated and be totally fine um, but that is one thing to keep in mind when deciding if you should purchase these or not. Uh, with that being said, that's all I have for this video. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.